This last part of the class is the chakras. So if you're interested, I will coach you through each one of your chakras, bad and good. And I also will tell you what horoscope sign the chakra is, if you're into that. So this is all about the chakras. So take a few moments. You can Google this. There's all of this information here. But as a yoga teacher, we've been working with the endocrine system. So this segment is all about movement, but it's all about understanding where is my chakras. So I want you to rock side to side. That's your first chakra. What is your first chakra? It is your root chakra. Where is it? It is your buttocks, everybody. It is your anus area. And you can call it anything. What are you you're sitting, you're sitting down on your buttocks? Your root chakra. And we don't need to go into the Sanskrit of the Lam Vam Yam. I'm not gonna go that deep with you, but I want you to rock side to side. And I want you to understand that this chakra is where we're at. We go to the first three chakras, New Yorkers, this is where we're at right now. So I want you to stop the rock and I want you to go into the earth. Sit down into the earth, your first chakra. The color is red. It's all about survival. And we can get self-centered in this because we're taking, but it's really about survival. So this root chakra is all about conditioning that unconditional love, of course, but survival. Now this is a Capricorn, if this is your sign, the root chakra. Now let's just keep moving. Open your eyes. Now some of you want to know where your second chakra is. It's very easy. I want you to hold on to your abdominal area, your navel. Could you massage your navel? This is your second chakra, your core. This area is what we've been working. We might be eating a lot. This is emotional energy. This energy is our creativity energy, uh, sexuality energy. This is what we call the sacrum area, the lower abdominal area. Close your eyes, everybody. I want you to massage your abdominal area. Now this area is a very sensitive area. The good about this area that you might be doing some things you have not done. Maybe you read a book you haven't read in a while, cleaned out your closet that you've been doing. That's that creative energy. So it's some good stuff here. Some really good stuff here. The negative part is addiction in this area. So this is where we're going through. Massage that area. And if you are a cancer, this is your area. If you are a Scorpio, this is your area. Close your eyes and open your eyes. Okay, everybody, look at my arms. Touch your chest. Rotate the arms out. So we're going to the chakras. We're scaling the chakras. Now, this particular chakra, don't beat yourself up, but this is your solar plexus. This is your, what we call your willpower. This is your third chakra. And I want you to take your hands right here where your chest is, not your heart, and I want you to beat it. Yeah! This is your, your chest, your solar plexus. Can you just kind of get a little beat there? Open it up. This area is very personal. This is a personal power. Uh, this is an anger chakra. That's why we have to work this chakra with unconditional love. We can be a little impatient. Uh, people are standing too close. All of these things happen in this particular chakra. So the, this is all about that fire. Um, Aries, Leo is in this chakra. Good, and the color is yellow. This is your solar plexus. Close your eyes and gently beat it up with some love. Beat it with a soft feather. We have to love this chakra. It's very impatient right now. Take deep breaths, close your eyes. Inhale and exhale. Good job, everybody. Take your hands onto your knees. Circle around. One time to the right, stop, circle around one time to the left. Now we're going to the favorite chakras. These are your higher chakras. Everyone, rub your hands together, create some heat. Yeah. What do you think we're going? We're going into your heart chakra. This is a chakra that we've been doing at 7 o'clock. 
When we clap our hands, this is the unconditional love chakra. It's green and pink. Uh, Libra and Taurus is in this chakra. Touch your heart right now. Once it gets hot, place those hot hands onto your heart chakra and ask for all of the unconditional love that you can give. Close your eyes. Inhale. Anahata heart chakra. Exhale. Good. One more. And open your eyes up. Reach the arms up over your head. We're almost there. Look at my thumbs. Take your thumbs to the back of your neck. Good. And then slowly from there, roll your thumbs to your th throat chakra. This is your communication chakra. You can rub it a little bit. Don't poke it. Take your tongue to the top of the roof of your mouth. This is your tongue chakra. Your throat chakra. Communication. Speech. Self-expression. Gemini, Virgos. This chakra you have to be careful with because sometimes we'll say stuff that we don't mean to say. It can be over-talkative. So right now we're listening to communication. We, we want communication. Tell us what's going on. So close your eyes and speak the truth. Speak kind words with this chakra. This is your fifth chakra. Rub it. Condition it. You have to condition it like you work your body. Move it around a little bit. Bring some blood in that area. Roll your tongue around your mouth. Open your eyes. Arms up, everybody. Good. Now take your hands in prayer and take your thumbs. We did this earlier to your third chakra, which is in your sixth chakra. So notice that third is connection, your heart chakra, which is your fourth. That third is your solar plexus. Now pull up from the fifth. Now we're going to the sixth. Massage your thumbs three times to the right. Make a circle between your eyebrows. Intuition. Telepathic energy, sixth sense. Third eye, color blue. Sagittarius and Pisces are in this chakra. You go the other direction three times. Close your eyes and keep your arms up in your third chakra. This is a very important chakra. You got to know the difference. Intuition. You see something, you know. If it's wrong, stay back. This is all about understanding tuition. Understanding your cosmo energy. That's where we're going to go up next. Bring your hands on the crown of your head, everybody. Hold on. Walk side to side. Close your eyes. This is your seventh chakra. This is that Cosmo energy. Aquarius. Good. So this is your spirituality. Good. Understanding consciousness. Being all of the chakras. Now close your eyes. Sit back into your chair for me. Good. Now once you sit back into your chair... Take your hands up over your head and create your aura. Make a circle around your body. This is the last bit. Make a little circle. Perfect. Give me two more. Give me one more. Then take your hands on your knees. Sit back into your chair, everybody. Close your eyes. Now I want you to close your eyes. You have exactly a minute and 30 seconds. Of meditation. So when you're meditating, you're sitting comfortably. You want to tire your body out, which I did already. So you have no other choice but just kind of sit. If you feel sleepy, move your body around a little bit. Wiggle a little bit. If your mind is talking to you, the chitter chatter, what you do with that is that you honor it. Listen to it, but don't act out on it. Close your eyes. Now I want you to think about the first chakra. Bring your attention to your buttocks area, your root chakra, survival. Now I want you to pull up to your navel. I want you to be creative. Think of some creative stuff you can do outside of the box. This is a great time. Don't go too much into it. Bring it up to your solar plexus, your chest. 
We have to be humble, New Yorkers. We know we can get an attitude. So now we're going to have a gratitude in our attitude. That's that third chakra. Move up to the heart chakra. We've been doing that already. We got some love. We're giving love. What can I do for you? How can I help you? Take it up to communication chakra. Ask for help. Honor yourself. Speak the truth. And speak kindness. Let's move up to our third chakra, to the eyebrows, keeping your eyes closed. Ask for the wisdom to know the difference. Ask for the telepathic energy to guide you. The sixth sense. And let's finish with the light. Bring some light to your body. To the seventh chakra, closing your eyes. Asking for that cosmo energy. Asking for spirituality. Asking for some guidance. And listening for the guidance. Stay quiet, everybody, for 60 seconds. Close your eyes. Wiggle your toes in your hands. Move your head from side to side, everybody. Wake up the body. Move your neck around to the right side. And then move your neck around to the left side. Take your hands in namaste to your heart. And offer your own personal prayer. Namaste. Shanti, shanti, shanti.